Okay, I want to give you some notes on a little different type of a, a circular motion problem or, or just a specific kind of circular motion problem. And it's kind of looking at a limiting case. And by limiting case, I mean where something, you know, is at a minimum or a maximum. In this case, it's going to be on a roller coaster that's got an inside loop. You know, you're in one of these uh, roller coaster cars and it's on the inside radius of the of the roller coaster, so we call that an inside loop. And the question is going to ask, what's the minimum speed? V min at point C at the top. So that's uh, a common, fairly common kind of question that you might get on a problem like this. And this is a scenario where it's the object isn't moving at constant speed. This is not uniform circular motion. If you remember, uniform circular motion was when something's going in a circle at constant speed. That's not the scenario here. It comes in going faster. So I'm down here at point A. Um, at point A, it's moving pretty fast. I've got a long velocity vector there. But if I were to draw a force diagram at, at B, the Earth's force uh, on the object at B is straight down, and the normal force is inboard. So the fact that you've got um, those two forces, the, the normal force help, keeps it going in a circle, mg is actually slowing it down because at this point its velocity is in this direction. So the Earth force is slowing it down while the normal force keeps it going in a circle. Just the opposite over here at point D, I'm a, you know, it's going in this direction. It's coming down here. So at point D, um, the normal force is still directed towards the center of the circle. But now the Earth force, the mg force, is in the direction of its velocity. And so it's speeding up as it goes down. So it's going slower and slower and slower until it gets to the top. So I show my velocity vector here at the top. Um, shorter than it was down there at the bottom. Um, so the question would say, what's the minimum velocity at point C when this thing can still go in circular motion? So I should maybe add to that a little bit. Um, for the object to maintain circular motion. Okay, so you know if you're not moving at all, you're just going to fall, right? It's just going to fall straight down. Um, so it has to have some velocity to be able to go around the top of that circle. But what's the minimum amount of velocity? Well, to answer that question, let's draw a force diagram of the object when it's at point C. So I'm going to come down here to the bottom and I'm going to draw a force diagram at point C. I've got mg pointed downwards because it always points down. But I also have the normal force pointed down at that instant as well. And I don't know which is longer than the other. You know, I'm just drawing them random lengths. So I'm showing the normal force a different length than the force of the Earth. But um, it may be more, maybe less. But I know it's pointed down because it's perpendicular to the surface. And perpendicular at the top point would be pointed straight down. Well, the slower I go, the normal force gets, gets less. So as V decreases, the normal force at the top point also decreases. And the minimum occurs at V minimum. The slowest speed, just for an instant, the normal force goes to zero. Just for an instant. So it's, it's almost like the, t the wheels of the roller coaster lose contact with the track just for an instant. So if you think about the, the car going slower and slower, the normal force is getting less and less as it approaches the top point until just for a second it goes to zero, and then the normal force picks up again after it passes that highest point, and it keeps the object going in a circle. But just for an instant, the normal force is zero. So that means that this force diagram becomes just the normal force. So my force diagram at v min 
force diagram looks like this. Oops. Only gravity pointed down. I don't have any normal force because the normal force goes to zero for an instant. So now if I set that up in an equation on the next page, So now in the radial direction, I'll say and the unbalanced force now is just mg equals v squared over r. So at the minimum speed the unbalanced force is just equal to the Earth's force. I cancel out my mass, so the minimum speed would be equal to the square root of r times g. So whatever the radius is times g and then take the square root would give me the minimum speed for any roller coaster car that goes over the inside loop like that at the top point. So I hope that helps you understand that kind of special case. The other kind of special case would be, um, you know, twirling something like that yo-yo problem where you have a person um, twirling a yo-yo uh, -yo in a circle. So let's say there's a, uh, a string here and the yo-yo is kind of going in a circle. And you might ask the question at the top point, what is minimum velocity at the top point. Well, instead of the normal force, instead of normal force being zero, what would be zero at, in this case? Think about the force diagram at the top point. I have mg pointed down. And as long as I'm not at the minimum force, I also have tension. So my question that I'll ask tomorrow on our call is what force would approach zero at B min. All right, obviously not the normal force in this case. Okay, so I uh, hope you watch this today and we'll talk about this uh, Tuesday in class. Take care guys.